Okay, this is Archie, and in this video, I want to show you how to use uh, the Archie Sniper Bot, which I built recently to help you to snipe uh, tokens that have migrated from Pump Farm to Radium. Okay, so just a quick backstory if you're completely um, new to this kind of stuff. You know, originally we have Radium uh, being a popular platform that uh, people use of snipe tokens and make profit you can see some of the top performances but um, recently there's been a new platform called pump fun which allows people to launch tokens uh, easily and cheaply and so of course uh, a lot of action here I believe average um, uh, anywhere from six to twenty thousand launches per day but uh, a lot of them are rugs and um, only a few of them, like a 0.05% actually migrate. So if you click on the token, you can see you have uh, what's known as a bonding curve. Essentially, once enough Solana uh, has been um, put into this uh, bonding curve, then you will have a migration from here to here into the main uh, radium uh, automated market maker. And you would see it on deck, screener, and so on. Now the problem, the challenge, like I said, a lot of them are rugs. A lot of them just pump and dump. And if you just try to snipe a uh, pump fund token, you're gonna probably lose a lot of money unless you have a very solid strategy. So one way to get around this is to try to snipe them, the ones that have successfully migrated. So this is a good example. You can see this token is a pump token. How do I know it's a pump token? Well, first of all, I can see that it ends with pump, but let's copy the address, hop over here, and paste it. Okay, so what we can see here is um, the current chart. You can see the bonding curve completed, and uh, you can see what the pump chart looked like before it migrated to radium. Okay, so it migrates once it hits about 50,000 uh, market cap, I believe. Um, and then from that point, it comes here, and the big boys come to play. And you can see it's been able to do very well. So um, now having said that common uh, pattern that you normally see is a new pump fund token will launch. And um, you can see here, there's a bit of a dump after the launch right here. So you can see these are a 66% drop before it went up again. So a lot of them um, have, a, have a short spike and then they dump. Some of them never recover, um, but some of them do pump. And if you look at the top threatening uh, tokens on a daily basis, um, over half of them are migrating from pump fund. So the meta is definitely changing in terms of tokens coming from pump fund. And um, it's just another opportunity to see how you can make profit. Okay, so I think you get the gist. Let's look uh, at the bot itself. Okay, the Archie Sniper Bot. Um, if you've seen the previous video, um, on the channel, that was V1, I believe. And uh, since then, we've had a lot of changes. Now it's an application you can run on your computer, Mac, Windows, Linux, and you can see the different auto modes. Now, before I select one of them, a Radium Sniper Bot is just, you know, you auto snipe new token launches on Radium. Uh, pump Fun Sniper Bot is you auto snipe new token launches on uh, the Pump Fun platform. And then Pump Fun Migration Sniper Bot is the one I'm going to showcase where we're going to wait for a Palm Fun token to launch on Radium and then we're going to snipe it. Now you know, with this bot, what's pretty cool is we have different settings. This uh, is just some of the settings, but um, I'll just show you some of the rock checks. You know, we can check if it's mintable or freezable. We can check if, if uh, if the socials, we uh, can check top 10 holders, liquidity token creator balance, 
uh, we can check uh, the market cap, we can check uh, deck screen update. If there's index screener advertising, we um, can um, you know, check your market cap. We can also use a blacklist, a whitelist token sniper list. We can store, we can send the webhook to Discord. So there's a lot we can do. Um, and of course, stop losses. We can set take profit targets, slippage, and all of that. So that's all available with this bot that I've built. You can get in the server, this is the link, or you can just check description of the video. Okay, so I've already selected my settings, um, and let's run uh, pump fund migration sniper mode and see what happens. Just to demonstrate how the bot works and uh, not necessarily to um, get the profit. Okay, a new launch has been detected and now we're going to snipe the token. Okay, we have successfully bond bought the token. You can see my ROI immediately. Okay, let's open this up in deck screener and see what's going on with the token. Oops. I think maybe I didn't copy it properly. I'm already losing money, but uh, you get the gist. We snipe the token, see. So sometimes you have a situation like this. Um, so this is why I purchased the token. You can see my wallet. And um, sometimes it's immediate dump. Okay, so bear in mind, in this case, I did not use any rock checks. So this is just a pure snipe without the rock check. Okay, and now we hit the stop loss and uh, sell the token. So if I refresh, you can see I made the loss. But again, I'm just showing the concept here. No rock checks were enabled. Okay, so there's multiple rock checks. This could have been used um, in this particular case uh, to help me avoid uh, purchasing this token. But the advantage of this is you don't have to take the risk of, you know, going through thousands of tokens uh, on pump on. You can just wait, okay? Make sure that it qualifies itself like this guy. And once it migrates, we can then auto snipe and set the stop loss and limit order. Like I said, I didn't put any log checks uh, so if I did, I probably could have avoided, but I just want to show you how it works. You can see just launched in Radium, and it came from Pump. Fun. Okay, so this is the transaction that just occurred using my wallet. Let me, uh, let us wait for another token. Let's see if we have better luck. Oh. Uh, don't, don't tell me it's going to reverse. I think I left the moon back. No. Let's see. Did I sell everything? Let this see quantity. Oh, I sold 100%. Yes. But um, using the bot, you can also set multiple limit orders. Multiple take profit stop loss. So it's not just one. I could have had multiple. Maybe I could have had a stop loss to only take 95% leave 5% moon bag. If price jumps up again, I can have multiple take profits. Okay, so here we have also webhook, which was sent to my Discord server showing the trader card. You can see display of the current ROI and a token holdings. And uh, we use GTO to uh, um, be protection so no one can front run you and you also land your transaction quicker. Okay, seems like this token is picking back up after uh, I sold my bag. Well, let's see what happens there. But uh, not relevant. For the sake of this demo, uh, let's try to wait uh, and see. Actually, I am going to make um, a little tweak and I'm gonna check uh, for deck screener paid. All right, so give me a second. I'm going to 
go and uh, change my, oh my God, this is coming back up. Yeah, this is why it's important, you know, to not always be uh, so aggressive with the stop loss, you know, or at least leave a moon bag because I don't know, you know, when I, when I looked at this case, like I said, in the first, in the first couple of minutes, there was immediate dump and then it, uh, it took off, you know? So if you saw too early, then it's a problem, right? So yeah, maybe a little bit of a mistake. But um, yes, let us, let's uh, do an example this time with one uh, or more rug checks. Okay, see we have another token coming through, potentially, okay, valid, invalid, okay. And uh, this bot is just running in the background, you know, and uh, it's pretty cool. It's away from keyboard. You just put your settings. You can even put a minimum soul balance, you know, that um, your bot cannot trade below. So this helps you to prevent losing more money than you want. If say, for example, you start at one Solana, you don't want your balance to go below 0.8, then you um, can use that settings as well. So it really allows you to automate this whole thing go on with your life. Obviously, you still need to come back and analyze the trades just to make sure that, um, uh, just to make sure that uh, you are, you are, you know, just checking stats and you optimize your filters based on performance. Uh, but for the most part, it just, it just runs, you know, make sure you have a good internet good RPC provider. I use uh, either Helios or Shift or Tool again, all the instructions provided in the server or other videos. So I'm just gonna wait here for another transaction. Let's see a new token detected. It's my balance and we just successfully bought the token. Again, it's dumping again. No filters are applied, so makes sense. Let's jump over to the new token. It's not yet showing on deck screener. Oh, okay, hit the take profit, friends. I think, think I just made some money. I think I just made some money. Okay, so let's pull this out of the bag and let's see what's going on here. What's cooking? Okay, yeah, not bad, huh? Huh, a nice little, what's that? That's not a 2X, is it? Two, uh, X would have been three. So this is around 60% ROI, I believe. Yeah. Around 60% profit. Uh, you can see my screener, uh, my soul scan confirmation. Uh, yeah, and that, that's it in the demo. In a nutshell, if uh, there's interest in me doing my actual live trading, um, I will, um, you know, maybe do a full session of live trading as opposed to um, just just a demo purposes. Okay, I see the dev is dumping already, but I've already taken. Okay, I left. I left the moon bag, a five percent bag. Uh, this is okay. So I hit my stop loss and I've sold the token. Let's see what happens here. Let's refresh. There we go. So I hit this. I hit the stop loss. So my settings at the moment, I believe, take profit 10 and stop loss at 30 or something like that, just for the sake of demo. And um, yeah, but uh, I just made a profit on this one overall. Yes, I know the amounts are tiny, but for the sake of demo purposes, this was almost a 2x uh, pretty quick managed. Ah, us didn't uh, snipe in the first block came in the fourth second typically because, um, you know, my network isn't always great. I'm sure if you had faster network and um, also gas fees very low as well, you probably can end up in the first block. Okay, so this is the bot in a second. I said in a second, in a nutshell. Um, 
And this is a strategy I think can be very profitable instead of going here and just doing suicide.